Namaste friends, I am Anish Mandal and my this tutorial is going to show you how you can install web server services on your windows machine. Yes, it is a part of my series where I will cover how you can install the web server services on your windows machine as well as on your Linux machine. So in my this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can install IIS servers, Apache servers on your windows machine. The IIS server stands for Internet Information Services. It's the default server services provided by Microsoft. You can install IIS services using your add remove program from your control panel. Program. In program features, you will get the option called turn windows features off and on. You just need to click it and here you can just enable IIS. After clicking it will install the default services to run a web server. Kindly note in case if you want to build a application that support ASP.NET so you require to install ASP services and in application development you require to enable the services but I am not going to cover application development features of IS in this topic and also I am not going to show you how we can configure IIS on our windows system. In this video tutorial I am going to show you how you can install Apache web server both servers WAMP and XAMP on your windows system. So let's start. First we will go for WAMP server. WAMP it's a full form of Windows, Apache, MySQL and PHP server services. Or you just need to go to WAMP.com. Here in download option you can download the installer. And it's available in 32 and 64 bit. You can check your operating system environment by going my computer properties here you can see your operating system type i am using 32 bit version so i can download 32 bit version to install wmp server you also require to install visual studio redistributed library that can be downloaded from microsoft site i have already installed the library and I have downloaded the WMP server, so I'll just show you how you can install it. Here, after downloading, you just need to run WMP exe. Yes, then here you can see WMP server version 2. It's include Apache version 2.4.9, MySQL version 5.6.17, PHP version 5.5.12, PHP My Admin version 4.1.14, SQL Buddy and Xdebug. You just need to click Next. Accept the terms and condition. Click Next. The default location of WMP server is your system drive. In my example, it's a C drive and the installation will create the folder called WMP. If we want, we can change the drive or we can provide the path location where we want to install. But it's better to always use the default location of the installer. Click next. For this tutorial, just create the desktop icon. Click next. And install. Installation might take time depending on your operating system depends on your hardware in this pop-up it, it asks you to select the default browser I am using portable Firefox version so I will just select my default browser as Firefox portable Then the SMTP 
uh, for PHP mail parameter. I just leave it default. We will cover in-depth tutorial on how to configure WMC server in our future tutorial series. So uh, let's leave it default. Next. Now it once the installation is finished, it will ask you to launch the WMC server now. Click finish. You can see the green indication icon shows that your WMP server services is on, but it shows that it's offline. All you just need to click and put it online. So now your server is online. You can verify it by going localhost. So we can see our WMP server is up and running. And here it's the www root directory where we can create a test page. Let's create the test page here. File. File. Save. Save it. Namaste.php Namaste WMP. Save it and yeah, you can see our web server is up and running. In my future tutorial, I'm going to cover how you can customize your WMP server, including SQLI, PHP, Apache enable or disable extensions configure customize the settings as per your requirement so now just put it offline stop the services So that is the simplest way to get up and running WMP server. That's it for this tutorial friend. In my next tutorial, I am going to show you my favorite web server XAMP, how you can configure and install your required settings on it. Thank you.